Well, hi guys and girls, it's Emma again. Welcome back to the spare room. This is the next segment of this little Myford engine build. There's not many bits left, and over Christmas I've sort of left it and trying to get things organized and find space for stuff. But this is the piston valve, the spool valve, which goes through the cylinder there. And it's brass and it's got three grooves in it and a slot and a hole. It's a pretty basic thing. It's got to be a good fit in there because it doesn't want to leak. And that's a reamed hole through there. So I've got a bit of quarter inch brass which is a couple of hours too big for that hole. Nicely in the lathe and I'm going to put these grooves in here first. the nice sharp parting tool I've just sharpened hopefully not that end but hopefully it'll cut all right and then polish it to fit in the hole and part it off and put the put the slit in the end so that's the theory let's see how we go so what I think I'll do is put a groove in here that's not quite wide enough and clean out this end and then make it the right this way and then do the same again and the same again that's the theory I've been procrastinating this part because it's really not a, a particularly simple thing to make and it's got to be reasonably accurate this chuck if I put the indicator on here is about two or three thou out I don't think that's particularly critical because all this is going to be concentric when we plot it when we when we polish it and the grooves nothing here spins so there's no need to be adding balance or anything the grooves just need a bit of relief on them so We'll keep it as accurate as we can. We have a look at the drawing. The first screw is 340 there. Or well, the first the first stop and then it's got a, a 1 8 groove in there. You've got a wider one in the middle for the exhaust and your inlets or, or your exhaust on the outside and your inlet and the inside I think. Anyway. We need to do is make this piece here 340, or we move along here 350. Got to get used to these, but they're nice and easy to read for the camera. And if we lock that 340 there, we might blue this up, I think it'll be the next job. And this is why my parting tool's always got bare, it's got mark out blue on it. So that's marked it out nice. We've got a 340 gap here. And an eighth gap and then we've got a solid piece and then we've got another 340. Except there's nowhere near right forget about it. So I've pretty well got that marked out. We've got a gap here and a gap here and a gap in the middle. So nice sharp tool, nice and square. I've set up a pair of dividers. Oh, I've set up a pair of calipers um, just to measure this is a go no ga gauge to, to measure the, the diameter that we're getting down to. Don't use these while the machine's running.
So that's pretty close and slow and steady wins the race on this one. These are one eighth of an inch apart. This is all equal. Fingers crossed. And this is the right distance from the end. And this is down to size pretty much. And it's certainly close enough for a steam gallery. So we're going to put a mark up here. That where we want to part it off. To be honest, I don't think I'm going to part that off. I'm probably just going to cut it with hacksaw and finish it with a file. Probably to chuck it and, and finish the other end to me. But that's what it should look like. Nice and slow and steady here. So, a bit of oil and a lot of time and some patience and not being too forceful or or, or too too rushed about it. That's a pretty good fit in there. I'm really pleased with that. The only real job is to chop this off and I might take it across the bench and, and cut that and chuck it the other way around, face the end and we need to set up with the jig that I've still got in the tool holder from last time and Drill this and cross cross cut it and we're going to call this piece finished. So I've set this up in a jig again. If you can see that. Um, which is just a bit of hexagon with a grub screw in it and it's drilled to centre height. I've had it in this tool holder all along and I had to check just to make sure this hasn't been moved or adjusted and I've just used a mirror there just to make sure that that's on on centre height there and that looks pretty good we'll find the edge We should be exactly there. Nice sharp drill, you shouldn't have to put much pressure on that. So the next job really is to put a slot in this. It's not a particularly critical thing. It looks a lot nicer if it's in the middle and the other one on the piston rod isn't quite and I, it annoys me a bit. I'm gonna make a bit more effort with this one. But that's the setup is a splitting saw the right way around on an arbor. I've just got it in the three drill because I haven't got a half inch of it. 
or a proper arbor for this machine, I'd like one. And it probably is on the list of things to make. This should still be at 90 degrees to the hole, which is excellent. And I'm just going to cut that. So with a lot more luck than good management, I've got that a pretty good fit in there, that piece of tin. Uh, this is less than ideal because there's so much hanging out here, I don't like that, but there's not much else we can do. You probably could tap another hole in this jig further down so that you're not on the on the polish to a hone part. But it's achieved what I wanted to do. It's reasonably tidy, it wants to clean up with a file. just to clean out and we're taking out and have a bit of a look so there we go that seems to push the piston in and out nicely on mouth pressure which I'm really fairly pleased about so it should run the engine nicely and there can't be too many serious leaks So this bit goes on here and the only real major component is the lever that goes from this clevis through to this eccentric here. That's going to be cut out of this piece of shape and that's the next video but that's one of the bits out of the way that I was really dreading a bit because it's a difficult bit and you read so much about piston valves and how difficult they are to make and to, to get to work properly and to the extent that Princess Marina was my steam locomotive was designed with with slide valves to look like piston valves so that no one had to go to the hassle of making piston valves but that looks pretty good I'm happy with that next job of course is that piece there and some fittings and we're about done so Thanks for watching guys and girls and more soon be kind to each other and I try not to have quite so long between drinks on the next video.